Hello everyone. It's been just over a year since Avengers Endgame was released and boy oh boy did it smash box office records on the way to becoming the biggest movie of all time. You can check out my review in two easy to digest parts in the links below. Till then, coming up is my recap of Avengers Age of Ultron. Enjoy. A full power action scene puts all six Avengers in one place, retrieving the Mind Stone disguised in Loki's scepter given to him by Purple Nurple Thanos. Back at base with the scepter, Stark and Banner make a hybrid AI which predictably and instantly goes rogue. It busts them up and then teams up with two super twins, one fast and the other weird, aptly put by Agent Hill. These three chop off Ulysses' arm steal vibranium and give the Hulk a bad trip, giving Iron Man a great excuse to break out the Hulkbuster, nicknamed Veronica. The Avengers get r and at Hawkeye's countryside place. Thor also takes a bad trip in a hot spring while Ultron starts juicing up to bodybuild. He puts the Mind Stone to use but half the Avengers interrupt him and get the half-finished body back to base. Thor gives the body some electroshock therapy and jolts it into the Vision, who is basically Jarvis and can't pick up Mjolnir, so obviously he's a good guy. They assemble to fight Ultron and his army of mooks while clearing out the city with flying fury and shield. Hulk leaves on a jet plane. The first superhero death in the MCU happens in the form of Quicksilver dying to protect Hawkeye and a kid and the WandaVision shipping fandom is established. Ultron is vaporized and Thor lets Vision have the Mind Stone as kind of a third eye. Joss Whedon had a lot of experience with the ensemble cast, so it was only a matter of having a good tight script and screenplay. James Spader had the perfect voice for a philosophical AI villain, and mocap is just everywhere nowadays. Paul Bettany gets a body in the MCU, and the additional cast that would go on to feature prominently in Infinity War settled into their roles. Stan the Man got pan-galactic gargle blasted with his veteran friends from Thor's round Asgardian hip flask, saying his catchphrase, Excelsior. In the post credit tag, Thanos puts on the empty Infinity Gauntlet, setting up what we now know as Infinity War. See you all for the next review of the MCU. Open Darbar, signing off.